What's up, Iron Horse Addicts? And thank you for watching another edition of Backyard Rides. So Addicts are right. Today is going to take us about five miles maximum away from my house. We're going to go up towards the Santan Mountains. Those are the mountains you see in front of me. It is late April, so we're hitting the summer season as far as Arizona is concerned. And as you can see, we're already starting to see some dry climate type situations. And really, summer hasn't even begun. I thought today what I'd do is just kind of give you an update of what we've done so far this year as far as our rides are concerned and tell you where we're headed the rest of the year. So it's late April, we've only done one ride so far this season, that was in March. We went ahead and took a ride to the San Diego area. We took the back roads to San Diego uh, from Hakumba to San Diego and then we also took some ride, uh, took our ride through the Polomar Mountains. Beautiful rides, I was pleasantly surprised. Being from Arizona, uh, I go to San Diego quite a bit, but I've never been south of the I-8 or north of the I-8 while traveling. So it was a great experience, beautiful scenery. If you haven't taken a moment to watch those videos, please take a moment to watch them. It was a great time. I think it's in my Rapid Ride series. All right, so while we're sitting here at this light, Let's talk about some of the stuff we're going to do coming uh, going forward. So next weekend, I'm actually headed to Devil's Canyon, or sorry, Devil's Highway uh, in northeastern Arizona. Uh, pretty popular ride here in Arizona. I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging on that, but mostly it's going to be a... Um, just want to get good footage of the scenery so you guys can see what it's like. Um, lots of twisties on that route, so it's always a fun time. Also going to visit the Gila Cliff, Cliff Dwellings in New Mexico on the same trip. So it'll be a little bit of a lengthy weekend, probably about, eh, I'd say 20 hours in the saddle or so, 24 hours in the saddle. We'll go roughly 800 miles. So anyways, going to be a good time, um, can't wait to do it. Also, the crew, Iron Horse Addicts, we actually met this uh, Monday night and kind of finalized the plans of our uh, large or our big adventure this year. We are headed to the Canadian Rockies and we're going to hit a lot of the national parks in the Alberta um, province. Also, I guess some of British Columbia, mostly in Alberta. We're going to hit uh, Banff National Park, Lake Louise, Jasper National Park, and uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I've never been there, but I have heard it's about as beautiful as it gets uh, when it comes to mountains and scenery. So we're all excited. In fact, we're doing something different this year. The wives are going to fly in and hang out with this on our off days. So that'll be fun. They won't be, I don't want to say excluded, they just don't ride motorcycles. So it's usually just a guy's trip. So this time they're going to come along with us and I think that's going to be fantastic. It'll be a good time for all of us, a nice break and really an opportunity for our wives to see what it's like for us when we're on the road. We're pretty excited about that. That ride is actually going to take place in mid through late July. It's about a 10 day trip with uh, a day's rest um, in between. The other uh, big ride I've got planned for this year is we're going to hit a lot of the Colorado Rocky Mountains, the Colorado area. There's the Hog 365 has a lot of great stops um, on their rides this year and we're i'm excited to go collect the poker chips and the challenge coins that they have offered so we're going to hit places like monument valley um we're going to go ahead and hit um what was it called oh this guy lost the tire uh we're going to hit um uh, 
sorry, I lost my train of thought there. It is uh, standing on the corner. Uh, I guess, I don't know if it's a part, but spot. It uh, is in Winslow, Arizona. I guess it has to do with the Eagles song, pretty popular Eagles song. Um, so we're going to go to that. We're also going to hit up on the same trip, Million Dollar Highway. We're going to obviously go through um, Durango, Colorado, and get up to Silverton, Colorado. Um, there's a challenge coin that we can get in Silverton, Colorado. So we're, I'm really excited for that. It's going to coincide with a bit of a family reunion that I'm having with uh, my immediate family, my brothers and sisters, nieces, and nephews, um, that'll take place uh, in Grand, not Grand Junction, sorry, um, in uh, kind of near Vail, Colorado. So it's gonna be a great trip. So here, guys, here's Santan Mountains. So these uh, are popular for morning hikers. A lot of people come through here, just go on a hike every morning to get their exercise. Uh, I've yet to hike the mountains. If you've seen in my, any of my videos, it's not like I look like the hiker type. <laughs> I need to I need to change that, but uh, for the moment, uh, I'm not the hiker type. One of these days I will be. So these mountains um, kind of hug the Santan Valley. And this area, you saw that there's, you know, 10 years ago, uh, 12 years ago, there were literally, there was literally nothing, nothing out here. Well, <clears throat> that's changed quite a bit as the population in the state of Arizona has grown so quickly. Um, and now it is, uh, people obviously live right up or have built houses right up to the corner uh, or to the edge of these mountains. All right, better traverse this carefully. Um, I've had two accidents on Harleys and both of them have come when I've gone off pavement and onto dirt unexpectedly. So, obviously it's an issue of mine. As you can see, people like to ride their bikes in the area. It's just a great place. In the wintertime, this area is quite beautiful. You can see up there, kind of through that ridge, there's some dead brush. In the wintertime, that's actually quite green. Or in the monsoon seasons, but in the monsoon seasons, it's way too hot. Nobody around here is, is hiking in August and July. All right, so after our trip to Colorado, we are, or after our trip to uh, the Canadian Rockies in July, we've also planned a ride that I hope we can get to, depending on work schedules, but we are going to hit uh, the Redwoods of Northern California. A uh, little bit of coastal shots, but really focusing on getting into those Redwood forests and giving you guys a chance to see the beauty that's there. I've been there with my boys and, the, and, and my wife as a family. Uh, I was not on a motorcycle there and I've always wanted to return on the Harley. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great ride. Um, so far, it's only Hitch and I that have committed to that ride. We're hoping that we can find a way to get Sarge as well as Easy involved. And also we got the newcomer to the group, his name's Colby. We don't have a, a riding name for him quite yet because we haven't all rode with him yet. He's got to earn that name. So hopefully he can get some time off and uh, he'll be able to ride with us here in the near future. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed views of my backyard and appreciate you guys watching this video. If you've enjoyed the content of this video or any others, please take a moment to subscribe, hit the like button, and smash that bell so that we can notify you every time a new video is uploaded. As you can tell, we've got a lot of great rides planned this season, and we'd love for you to be a part of it. So, make sure you return often to the channel, 
engage with us put you know write some comments in there if you're from arizona give me some areas where you want me to do a backyard ride video to and i'll research the history of the area and i'll research the people the cultures everything and i'll provide a a, a great video for you so anyways that's it guys appreciate it hopefully you've enjoyed this and remember as always live life at 100 miles per hour